Oh my god! I don't, I don't even drink coffee. Excuse me. It's fake news. Do I look like a guy with a plan? Hey guys, what's up? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello, Chad Hanks, everybody. Chad Real Hanks. Real bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Rough Week Podcast. If you're new to the show, please subscribe, share with your friends, give us ratings on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, the whole nine. If you're old, we love you. Thank you for supporting. Shout out to the weaklings. You're the best. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, the man with the ruby red locks, the invisible intel in himself, <laughs> Christoph Jean, everybody. What's up, everybody? And dude, Thanks dude, I might be a little again. nervous, dude, because we got a special guest in the building. It's a beautiful, sunny, blue sky day here in New York City, and we thought, what a way to kick off the summer, white boy summer specifically, with the man himself, the originator, Chet Hanks, everybody. <laughs> yes, 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 Lord. <laughs> Good to be here. Yeah, thanks doing, so much bro? for coming on, man. Yes, thanks. Thanks for having me. It's yeah, great, dude. Awesome, yeah, we were uh, our big one of our big clips was talking about you. So yeah, yeah, you yeah I saw you comment on one of our clips, dude. That was fucking awesome. Yeah, dude. Was I was funny. losing my mind. Yeah, <laughs> we were yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was out, dude. <laughs> How you been, man? Good, man. Yeah, really good. You've been doing a lot of interviews. What have you been getting into? You got any music coming out? Yeah, I do. Nice, yeah. I do. Got some stuff about to about to drop. A little mixtape yeah. or an album. A uh, couple songs. Nice. There we yeah. go. Yeah. You rapping again? Is it rap? Or are you singing? Singing. Singing? Really? Yeah. Nice, yeah. dude. Yeah. R and B phase. You'll see. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> dude, I'm see. so excited for yeah. that, dude. Any? Do you do you do any reggae music at all? I or? should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should. Dude, you would kill a reggae. Dude, album. you would smash a reggae album. Maybe all yeah. three of us. Yeah, dude, we should all get together <laughs> yeah. and do dude, like a patois beautiful. album, dude. Yeah, yeah. crazy. <laughs> we could do the ad libs, <laughs> and you could kind of, you know, be the. Yeah, I would just be the back show. Like, I, I could do a hit of those. Yeah. That's a, How's this patois? That's, a, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Let's <laughs> <Yeah>. go. <laughs> What do you Ross Clat just ran <laughs> for the background, dude? A couple times. <laughs> you got the energy. The energy yeah. is there. Thanks, the energy dude. is the I most important that, thing. Dude. Oh yeah. How did yeah, you get dude. into the? How did you get into the Jamaican lifestyle, dude? I don't even know, dude. It, it, it kind of chose me. <laughs> <laughs> it chose me. Dude, I get that, bro. Dude, it chose Christoph too. You I feel really the same way, dude. Because I did a. I started doing a joke a long time ago. I used to work at a call center. And this Jamaican dude would call in all the time, and I just couldn't stop doing an impression of yeah, him. It's addictive. Dude, he <laughs> kept doing it because he would call in, right? Because it was a, a help service for deaf people. And what you do, you listen to one conversation, and then I say the same thing back into a microphone. And then it makes subtitles for him. So he's calling his deaf uh, grandma, right? Oh. So he'd go, hey, I'm going to pick up their phone. <laughs> Mama, pick up the phone. Why you not? So I'm. I have to do that. It's my job to go. Hey, Mama, pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a cubicle eight hours a day. Going, Mama, pick up the phone, please. You could like write a novel about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right, dude? This there is was... how they should teach all kids patois. Yeah, yeah. is do call center training. That, that sounds like a plot of like a really artistic film, right? <laughs> <laughs> like a good indie movie. Uh, yeah, or a yeah. novel. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I end up like I falling. Like write that on a typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> like like I'm in my <laughs> like a long cigarette, you yeah. know, like typing it on the typewriter, yeah. dude. That'd be yeah. nice. Dude, what dude. what came first? Because you, you pop big with the white boy summer video. And then also the patois stuff. Which one came first? The patois came first. Patois yeah. came first. Yeah. yeah. When did you, how long you been patois it up for? Oh, man. I mean, uh, probably since the beginning of time. <laughs> <laughs> over many life, over many lifetimes. Yeah. In a past life, you were doing patois. <laughs> you think you're from Kingston in maybe a past several, life? Maybe several, you know. Yeah. Which would be weird. I think you'd be like, maybe like a few, you were like a feudal lord or something. You know what I mean? And they have that? I don't even know. Don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like you, you were, <laughs> you were like a king. So you, you think know? like the Knights of the Round Table? Were yeah, we're hitting patois. the patois. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah. They're like Lancelot. Bomba <laughs> 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 Club, bring the squire into the main courtyard. Yeah, bring. <laughs> Dude, I think that'd be so great, dude. <laughs> You're being the page boy with a funny haircut. <laughs> Get a joker in here. Get a joker in here. You're a in here. You're a pussy bull cut, jester. motherfucker. Get a jester to make me laugh. <laughs> that's funny as fuck. That's so, so I'm just imagining that's you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if you go back in time Thanks. into like, you know, the, the medieval 
<laughs> you know what the I mean? Times. The medieval times. You yeah. would be a good feudal patois lord for sure. Yeah, if that, if sure, that existed, that would have been. Yeah. it would have been you. I think. Yeah, yeah, I feel that way. Yeah. <laughs> sure. do, you, do you ever think about that? Like about like what your ancestors were doing and how it led to here? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. What do you think they were doing? Well, I've done some research on it. I actually, like know a little bit about my, my oh, yeah? ancestors. Yeah. What were they doing? <clears throat> well. um on my on my mom, there's my my mom. My mom's side is like immigrant, so my grandma and grandpa came from uh, Greece and Bulgaria. So okay. like that side is, I don't have as much information. But on my dad's side, I have a lot of information. Yeah, because what Hanks is what British, uh, te- Irish. Yeah, they came from England, but yeah. but Hanks is technically a, a German name. Hanks, okay, cool. Hunkus. Hunkus. You know, originally, it was Hunkus. 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 Okay, cool. yeah. Did they like Ellis Island? Change it up? No. The first Hanks came to America in like 1682. Damn. Yeah. Damn. So that's old damn. as fuck. And that's like my direct line of. Uh, that's a lot of Hanks, dude. Like my great, great, great. You know what I mean? Like yeah, direct, yeah. direct line. They 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 came from England in uh in like 1682. There yeah. we go. So they were like pilgrims. They were doing like the Plymouth thing. They they, I mean, to... I mean, that's like a hundred years before. I'm basically a hundred years before the Declaration of Independence. So yeah, dude. They were definitely like one of the first people. I think they came to Virginia, and then eventually they went to Kentucky, and then my great great grandfather Daniel Boone Hanks moved to Hanks's from Kentucky to northern, northern California. That's beautiful, dude. That's, that's a, pretty crazy. I got a, a picture of Daniel Bone Hanks. Actually, it's pretty trippy. Really? That's fucking wild, dude. Yeah. Can you imagine you crossing must... over like into the fucking California? Back then, dude? <coughs> yeah, the can you imagine? Can you imagine if you told him his bloodline was going to lead to you and your dad? I mean, that's a pretty. He probably yeah. would have been hyped. Yeah, you maybe he would have slapped me across the face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, think you don't he, think he, he was like a hard psyched. man? Oh, you dude definitely was a hard man. Yeah, okay, dude. Right. If you're doing, if you're coming I across, a, I got a picture of him. He's got, he, he looks like a badass. I, I, I definitely want to kick bro. it with him. Like, yeah, yeah. dude, you got to do cool. like, like some kind of like seance or something. You know, no, I don't fuck with that. No, no? you don't. No. You don't get into like the woo woo like voodoo type stuff. No, no, I don't like. I don't. I don't fuck with any of that shit. How yeah, come? I just don't. I don't. I don't trust it. You think it's like you think it could fuck you up. I mean, I just, I, I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> I don't, I don't no, for real. Like, yeah. That's how I was raised. Like, and just, we don't fuck with that. Like, the hangs is. <clears throat> I mean, just that, like, in, in, like, Greek culture, we just, told, oh, we're yeah. just told to stay away from that shit. No, okay. Like, I would okay. never fuck with a Ouija board or, or seances or, I don't even like seeing psychics or, like, doing yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't like doing any of that. Does it make kind of a dark energy come over you or? No, like? I, don't, I don't think so. I just think it's a, I, I mean, we're just, you know, I was raised to stay away from that shit. Yeah, in Greek nah, culture, we're for sure. It's like that shit is just you stay away from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It nah, could lead to bad things. Or you, I don't know. Them. I mean, I don't want to. I don't know if it does or if it doesn't. But I wouldn't want to find out either way. Yeah, know? good point. Yeah, dude. if you just yeah. leave it alone, it can't. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Don't mess with the bull type of thing. Yeah, dude. What? Uh, how are you feeling about this summer? Do you think it's going to be another white boy summer? I mean, twenty twenty one was the OG white boy summer. But I don't know. We might have to do like a, a groundhog day or something where I like. <laughs> I come. I walk out of a strip club, and if I see my shadow, I'm like, <laughs> it's, an, it's it's six more weeks of white boy summer, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> come out to make it a holiday. <laughs> go, yeah, it's amazing. That's dude. incredible. What? How did you? How did you decide to originally call? 2021 white boy summer? I, I just got a haircut one day, and I posted a video on Instagram, and because you know. Uh, I got a nice haircut, and I was like, yeah, I think it's going to be a white boy summer. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah, <laughs> That makes That's total great. sense, dude. When you get a haircut, you yeah. feel nice. Yeah, dude. it's life-changing. It's unreal. Yeah. Like, yeah. bro, I got the opposite effect recently. I got a terrible haircut. Christoph got a bad haircut. Yeah, I was on send you in a depression. Bro, I was in a dark <laughs> place, man. I was on, like, Sucks. fucking... Dude, I was, like, calling Luke. I was like, what do you think? He's like, yeah. it's okay, dude. I'm like, you're just being nice to me. I was trying like, to be I a good what, friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, it's 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 bad. He was yeah, yeah, he was kind of upset. He was wearing I've never seen him wear a hat. In my I wore life. a hat. He was dude. I've never worn. I'm not You're a hat, hat guy. guy. Not really a hat guy, to be no. honest. I've had like no. red, this. You know, I got curly red hair, dude. I can't fucking. You can't tame it like that. You yeah, know? you gotta let not people even with know. The hat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any flow peeking out the back. I, I think he could get the flow. I could going. get the flow. Yeah. Christoph, some more. I used to have really long curly hair. It used to be like down to my shoulders. I just cut it all off. Damn, Christoph, yeah, he's not really a hat guy. He's more like an old sweater type of dude. Yeah, he yeah, likes like yeah. an old, like a kind of <laughs> yeah. old sweater. I wish I had like a little pipe. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I wish that was still in. Yeah, 
you know. Kristoff's kind of got like a Sherlock Holmes energy. Yeah, yeah. Down, yeah. <laughs> you think so? yeah I think so. Dude, dude, I solve mysteries on my, mean, you know, on my, <laughs> on my off time. Dude. Yeah, you know. That's good. <laughs> this, yeah. this guy's got that. he's got intuition. Dude. Yeah, dude. I'm he, like, he seeks things out. Yeah, I'm like a woman or something. He sees where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you do Ouija boards and shit? No, I don't fuck with any of that either, dude. Oh, okay. no, I've never done here. that, though. I know my, my friends would go to, like, they go to, like, abandoned, like, old schools and stuff. I'm like, I'm not doing all that. There'd be, there'd be like, graffiti and bats and stuff. I'm like, what are you guys doing? What no, you guys, I can't fuck with that at all. I'm fucking, I'm good, man. Yeah. They're going out into the woods and stuff. I'm, like, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm all right. No, I'm, I'm good, like dude. You guys can go do that by yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Where do you yeah. Where do you live now? L.A.? L.A. L.A.? Yeah. Nice. No, do you got a spot anywhere else? You just no, just LA. straight LA. Just LA, dude. Yeah. You ever think about going to like my? I think you could kill it, in Miami. Yeah, yeah, I want to go to Miami. Do you I go to Miami a lot, as much as I can. Yeah, you dude. love it there. I love it. You dude. would tear it up in Miami. He's a Florida boy. Right? Yeah, I'm from Florida, dude. Miami is yeah, it's different. It's, it's not. It's a. It's its own thing. It's different than you know what I mean. Yeah, it's like Cuba plus Florida plus it's divided a party. by New York. It's, it's a party. It's, it's vacations. Mm-hmm. Everything. It's fucking wild, dude. What do you? What city do you think's got that? The best looking women, Miami for sure. Miami, right. so beautiful Latinas. Yes, you yeah. like Latinas. You love a Latina. I, I love Latinas. I love a Latina. How can you not? Right? Yeah. It's addicting, dude. <laughs> it's addicting. I hear it's you. Addicting. You gotta Latinas. get cut off. You ever you ever gone through a Latina addiction? It can hit you hard. <laughs> It's spicy. <laughs> For sure. For sure, dude. Once I get, speak Spanish, so that helps a lot. You speak too. Spanish? Yeah. Luke speaks a little bit of Spanish. Yeah, hablo un poquito. Yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> you speak Spanish? Yeah. Can you can you can we talk in Spanish a little? Can you give me a little Spanish? Sí. <laughs> si quieres. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Chesterito. <laughs> 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 little Chester, dude. Chesterito Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> I understood that part. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Treinta y dos. Okay. I know, I know. ¿De dónde vivas? Los Ángeles. Oh, that's See? great. Um, <laughs> hey, could you ask, uh, can you ask Chet, um, uh, what his favorite part of New York is? ¿Cuál es su uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ¿Cuál es su uh, barrio favorito en Nueva York? Oh, like neighborhood? Yeah. yeah. No, todo el ciudad. The whole city. Sí. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's great. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all were in line. <laughs> have you so have you <laughs> have you been to have you been to Jamaica? No. What? Uh, I haven't actually. Damn. Dude, we got to make that happen. I know. Yeah. I know. Well, why not? I just haven't been. I haven't been. I haven't. He's a busy guy, man. I need to go. Yeah. How do you think you do? You think you'd be welcome with open arms? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got a lot of love from Jamaica. Yeah, dude. the Jamaican. The Jamaican. That was like, a lot of love, dude. That was the, the thing with really. Yeah, love the Jamaicans, man. Shout out to the Jamaican people, Jamaican country. Yeah, beautiful. Shout Big out beautiful. the island, massive. <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> dude, For I, real though. Big up. Big, <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely, dude. definitely big up, dude. I was like, that's you look through the comments of our like Chet Hanks video, you know? It's like we're talking about you, we're doing the patois thing. So many positive comments from Jamaicans. Yeah, they're like, we love him. Yeah, like, we got genuinely to, like, oh my god, it's just like Chet Hanks. This is great. Yeah, it's like we got it feels good. We mm-hmm. got some negative comments, but I don't think they were really from Jamaicans. No, like they're probably from woke people. Yeah, it was a little. There was a lot of Americans making that, you know. Yeah. Of the yeah. Caucasian variety. How do you how do you feel about this whole woke movement going on? Because I'm sure you get hit with some cultural appropriation type stuff. <coughs> yeah, because that's that what you told us. You told us we were, you were going to report us. I, 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 I was being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. How do I feel about the woke movement? Yeah, man. I think it's ruining everything. How come? I just think it's insane. Yeah, you don't think it's like? Do you think these people really think these things, or do you think they're just kind of putting it out? I don't know what they think. I just think they're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> yeah. I agree. That's dude, a good fuck them. Fuck yeah. them, dude. Fuck all the woke people. Fuck I mean, snowflakes. Suck. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that was fuck like, you. yeah. The fuck them. <laughs> They're ruining everything. Yeah. Man. How do you think it's going to, you think it, do you not like how it affected Hollywood? I don't like how it affects anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's ruining every, it's ruining uh, everything. It's ruining in America. It's ruining the world. Yeah. What do you think it's going to look like if this woke stuff keeps up in the next like 10, 20 years? Do you think things are going to look kind of bleak? Mm. 
I don't know. I think it's going to fall by the wayside, honestly. I think it already... I think it's on the way out. Yeah, yeah. it you feels think? that way, right? Yeah, I think so. I, I definitely think, think compared to three, four years ago, it's, it's a lot different, you know? Yeah. Especially because, like, I mean, like, I went back and I watched your, like, Z-Way interview, you know? And the greatest, my favorite part of it is when they go to the apology camera and it goes on you and they go, would you like to apologize? And you're like, no, I don't really do I don't think I did anything wrong. And then it just cuts away. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly the right. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like they even have this editing and they're like trying to put you on the spot. And you go, no, I don't really don't. I don't think so. <laughs> like, yeah. you, I felt like that was so great. How did you feel after that interview? Because we watched it on the podcast and it seemed like she was kind of trying to like gotcha like kind of own you a little bit no that's a role like you think so it's, it, it, it's satire z-way is hella cool I yeah love, uh, shout out to z-way love shout her. out to z-way she, she's playing a role she loved it oh really yeah yeah, yeah. That's, she's not really like that it's it's satire yeah. okay cool, cool. okay yeah. z-way is cool as fuck so she's kind of playing a she's character. playing a totally, character totally yeah oh okay. that's great yeah that's yeah, awesome yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah do you like yeah, you you've had like all these viral moments. You do you I uh, like every time like a video you goes viral is it, are you just like psyched about it or are there like interviews you haven't liked or anything like that? Uh I mean uh, it, it doesn't really uh, I don't really feel any type of way about it, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I've never every time I've gone viral, I've never been expecting to go viral. It just happens for me being myself and then people are just like so amazed by it. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, I, don't, I don't see what the big deal is ever. You know? Yeah. People so, are just, oh my God. <laughs> he just didn't say that. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I'm doing yeah, just dude. being myself, and like people can't handle it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I <feel you. laughs> dude, that's a yeah. great attitude. Dude. They do kind of do that. I think that's yeah. how I reacted the first time I saw you. Every time, it's just, yeah. I'm just being myself because like, people yeah. are so uh, like just amazed by just like I don't know originality, or, like authenticity. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Authenticity, for yeah. Sure. yeah. Because before yeah. or after, you weren't gonna like the camera wasn't there, you wouldn't have been that different. You know what I mean? Well, it's like, I'm just like, I don't know. It's just, I'm just being myself 24-7. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, when the, there's little snippets of my life where, like, a, a camera captures where I'm right. just being myself and it, it's like, it's like a, a shocking thing or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So you watch it, you're like, why are they all freaking out? I'm just... Just be uh, every time, but I yeah. like I'm just, I just roll with it every time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's great. Then. So like when you're never like trying to create some viral moment, you're no. just it's just all pure authenticity. I, I've never had an agenda to be like, oh, this is gonna go viral. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being myself, great. man. <laughs> I can't. Sometimes wait. I can't wait to get so many views. Oh my yeah. god. Sometimes it just people are just like it, it blows their minds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. No, that totally makes sense, dude. So Christoph's patois is pretty good. Mine's okay. I think his is better. Thanks, dude. What yeah. a how would you like if I wanted to hit on a like a Jamaican lady, like if I wanted to talk to a girl in patois, <laughs> what would be your best recommendation? I'd, I'd recommend you just be yourself and just <laughs> speak normally. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't think I should go? You don't think I should go patois? No, no. If I was in Jamaica though, I wouldn't want to look like a nerdy white guy. I think I would want to like. You'd look like a nerdy white guy if you were speaking. In <laughs> <laughs> it is. A you think I would look too goofy if I did patois? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what if he did patois? He does it. He does it. He's more natural. <laughs> Dude, it's no, so funny for, for me to imagine you trying. To hit on a lady like that, like pardon me, <laughs> dude. That'd be all right. All right, noted, Chet. For sure. <laughs> yeah, just duly yourself. noted. Just be yourself. Just yeah. be yourself, dude. All right, for I sure. Mean, definitely. You definitely. I'm sure you've made love to a beautiful Jamaican woman. I think a woman of Jamaican descent, for sure. Yeah, I like. I like black and Latin ladies usually. Those are usually <laughs> it's kind of his little, my little fairway his forte, for sure. You know, fair play, fair play. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's kind of where he. That's like his, his wheelhouse, if yeah, you will. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah, I would. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, because sure. Luke's huh? Luke's just Italian. I'm an Italian man. Yeah, I think. I thought he was Puerto Rican for the first year I knew him. People in New York I think I'm Puerto Rican. Yeah, I really thought he was Puerto Rican. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So you're rapping now. You you need acting too. Yeah. You're on set for something. Yeah. What do you like better? Uh, man, I don't know. I like them both a lot. Yeah. 
Is it is the thing you're filming? Is there anything you can talk about? It's a movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. it. It's probably all I should say. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you. I got you. No worries. Do they curious. do they try to like have you play a version of yourself usually, or do they have to like fit into different no, characters? No, no, it, it's it's pretty all across the board. Yeah, <clears throat> sometimes I play characters that are very similar to myself, but it's it's never just a like a version of of myself. Yeah, yeah. I've had characters that are similar, have had similar experiences, and some characters that I have nothing in common with. You yeah, know, it's acting. Right. Okay, cool. It's all make believe at the end of the day. Like, yeah, yeah. You know. What do you like better, acting or rapping? It's hard to say, man. It's hard to say. I, I know it's both like a, it's both a creative outlet for me. So it's hard to, it's hard to choose one. It's it, they're just different, you know, methods of of, of being creative, you know. So I, I enjoy both of them. So yeah. I, I can't really say which one I like better. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Too. Yeah. Were you like always <coughs> rapping when you were a kid? Um. No, I, I, I was like writing raps and shit when I yeah. was a kid, but I wasn't like putting out music. Yeah, you would yeah. just put it in your notebook in school and stuff. Yeah, I was just like on you know, like Eminem on the bus. Shit's gonna go fucking crazy. In the four tours, you're gonna floorboards in a Porsche. <laughs> 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 is that how your early rides were? They were like you're trying to do Eminem, like no, you're, no, yeah, no. dude. I, I just, when you say like, yeah, I would just write in my raps in my notebook. Oh yeah, it, it sounds, sounds very that's Eminem. What comes to mind. It sounds yeah. super lyrical, lyrical, spiritual. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> in the living room. <laughs> dude, Eminem does really always sound like he's talking through his teeth. <laughs> he's going to front. Yeah, he's like, New so Eminem. serious. He didn't always sound. No, like no, no, no. He used to be like yeah. zany. I liked him yeah. back in the day. He was like back with Mark Wahlberg. Was Mark? Like that yeah, 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 dude. That was a little bit more. Shady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slim Shady was yeah. That was the alter ego. Yeah, yeah. dude. Slim Shady yeah. was something else, dude. Now yeah. it's a little more vicious, meticulous, imminent. <laughs> 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 yeah, you sound so pissed off. Dude, that's when he's doing. Do you see him roast Trump in that thing? It was like. Yeah. It was kind of th- where he's like, that's an awful hot coffee pot. Yeah. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump, probably not. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was Chris rough. Chris DeLeo such a funny parody. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. He's like pacing around. He's like, <sighs> he's like breathing all heavy. <laughs> he's in the parking garage. With a whole like- bunch of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching that the other day. He nailed that. That was, that was so funny. That right? was so funny. <laughs> Isn't it like, it's like dudes behind him just like serious as hell yeah they're, not like, <laughs> they're just dead serious behind him and he's like yeah. i just want to fuck <laughs> i don't remember that i just remember yeah. that. that's an awfully, awfully hot coffee hot. pot that was not a good opening line that no, awfully hot. An this awfully is it. hot coffee pot. is this it yeah this is it i think yeah you want to turn it up <laughs> can we watch this i forgot you should do the crystal Wait, start from the beginning <laughs> yeah the crystal Leo one is... before the storm right here <laughs> yeah, it's just Wait, 22 how was I gonna start this off? I forgot. Damn. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's an awfully hot coffee. Whoa. <laughs> He's so mad, so dude. Funny, got dude. a plan and now I got a hatchet <laughs> like a damn Apache with a tomahawk. I'm a walk inside a mosque on Ramadan and say a prayer. Oh, and it's building. <laughs> <laughs> I also love that he pauses and does the walk around yeah, when he does this. He's like, there's an awfully hot coffee pot. Dude, and then he, he just walks around. He, he, he like blows his own mind or something. He's breathing off. He takes a sip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming Trump never commented on Eminem's comments, did he? Did he clap back? Trump should clap back. <laughs> oh, he probably would have been like, I don't, I don't even drink coffee, excuse me. Excuse me. I, the, the coffee pot couldn't have been hot because I wasn't drinking any. I got a uh, matcha latte. It was ice. It was an ice matcha. I couldn't even drink it. There's no coffee pot. Fake news. <laughs> I believe I got a cold brew. You know, you know who deserves a hot, hot coffee pot? Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like a dog. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. You gotta I do a little breathe. It. You gotta do a little breathe in. When you, do yeah, like, you know who deserved it? It's Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> Actually got a matcha. I believe it was a matcha. That's I believe it was, it was a matcha I latte. It was a matcha iced latte. Matcha. Iced matcha. <laughs> Two iced matcha, from please. China. <laughs> it was a bakery from China. They made the virus. They also I made I a- matcha. <laughs> 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 You're like Donald Trump. A uh, uh, matcha is Japanese. Not what I heard. I got a scone. I think one of the best scones I've ever had. They make one of the very best scones. It was so great. Sco- Delicious so great. scone. Delicious scone. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from McDonald's. My favorite restaurant, McDonald's. <laughs> Dude, that was the greatest when he had the football team. When he brought them all fast food, do you remember that? Oh yeah, dude. He bought the NBA, or it was not the NBA champion, the or NCAA champions. They bought, yeah. He brought yeah, them he all. Brought McDonald's. Those, uh, it was just like McDonald's Burger King Taco Bell. Dude. <laughs> He's like, He's I like, check that. it out. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, but, dude. He's uh, so stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, we got a we got a Trump clip, right? I think we did. Dude, the last thing because he just that got one. That's this is a new one. It's very short. Yeah, I just love this. I did everything right, and they indicted me. (laughs) Dude, that fucking kills me, dude. I did everything right, and they indicted me. They indicted me. I did everything right, and they indicted me. Dude, so fucking good, dude. Unreal, dude. I mean, he got the 38 counts. That's what everyone's talking about. The yeah. Fucking, like, I forgot what. Uh, there's like 32 charges of like fucking with evidence, and then. You or, think Trump beats the charges or what? I, I, I don't even know. Like, how? What, what's he indicted for, dude? Paying someone off? Like, yeah, it was like hiding. Yeah. You'd have to. How come he gets indicted and not like everybody else? You know. Yeah, every there single rich league. guy or famous how guy. How is that illegal? You right. Know? <clears throat> Well, it's like it's how like, many Democrats and liberals have paid people off? Like, yeah, who right? knows, dude? I mean, both. Hundred percent. Yeah. Are you gonna? Di- it's yeah. It's I bet every Pete American Buttigieg. politician. Uh, like, how is that even illegal? To, you know, to, yeah. to, to make a settlement. Anthony Weiner, he was probably paying people off. Remember him? What sending cock pics and shit? Yeah, he was sending dick pics. I bet <laughs> yeah, he paid yeah, some shit. Yeah. I bet Pete yeah. Buttigieg just paid off some dudes, probably. Probably silence some men. I just yeah. don't get. Well, I don't get. I don't understand what's illegal about yeah. that. No. It's like he was like hiding this evidence. That's the picture that's been going around with the in the bathroom. I don't know if that proves like, anything though. I don't He's know. Got dude. Boxes shows box of classified documents stored in Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, like he wasn't supposed to take that shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> he was <laughs> boxes. <laughs> I thought it was my like, things what is, were in like, there. What does this prove? Like, look at those pig. What the fuck does it? There's boxes in a in a room. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does it? Oh, look, here's a spilled box. <laughs> <laughs> this one spilled. <laughs> he spilled boxes. <laughs> what the fuck does that prove? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what he's getting arrested for. Yeah. <laughs> he spilled a box. CNN. Right? <laughs> Breaking news: Trump spilled a box. <laughs> <laughs> There's paper you can't spill. <laughs> Breaking news, there's papers move? everywhere strewn about the office. Yeah. It's all just... <laughs> Trump spilled a box. Go get your vaccine. Get your vaccine. Get your vaccine now. Get your poster. <laughs> CNN. <laughs> we'll give you cookies if you get doxxed. <laughs> milk and cookies. Who wants milk and cookies if you get doxxed? Get your vaccine. Live in fear. Live in fear. You're going to die if you don't get doxxed. <laughs> Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Obey. Get back. Dude, it's very like this fuck him. Dude, fuck him. Yeah, fuck nah. Fuck him. Dude, like, yeah, dude. It's the Optimus Prime, dude. Yeah. Just woke fucking people, dude. I yeah. know, right? We've had enough of the libtards on this show. <laughs> dude, yeah, I mean, definitely. Unreal. unreal. They give us they give no, us it's like it's like it's like, yeah, now you got all these people, like, fucking dropping dead from, like, weird complications because they got vaxxed and shit. <clears throat> yeah, that, don't talk yeah. about that, though. That died yeah. suddenly film? They probably would have been that? completely healthy if they had just hadn't got vaxxed. <laughs> yeah. Not that uh, yeah. Did you have to get vaxxed because you were living in L.A. and stuff? I mean, it was pretty vax-heavy over there. Oh, yeah, I got vaxxed. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, dude. Yeah. Did you get your fourth booster? Oh, yeah, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Me, too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah, they're really pushing it on us, though, Chad. I don't like that. They made a lot of money. 
the guy from Pfizer. And then he, they and then as soon as money. they stopped making the vac, as soon as they ran out of the money that the government gave them, the guy from Pfizer wanted to charge a hundred bucks a vaccine. Is that true? The head of, after making like fifteen billion dollars. Whoa! Yeah, for, from the government. Correct? <clears throat> yeah, the, the government gave them like tens and then of they billions, were charging hundreds people? of billions. They, they wanted to charge. They wanted to, and then oh, okay. Bernie they led they shut the charge that down. And shut it down. Uh, yeah, shut that down. Bernie. Weird. Yeah, you like no. Bernie? Uh. I really don't have any feelings about him. Yeah. No. More Trump guy. I don't really have any feelings about Trump. I just, I I have strong feelings against fucking lies. Yeah. I feel you. You know? Fair enough. I have strong feelings against lies and fucking pushing fear on people. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to make people afraid. For sure. And forcing them to fucking get injections. Yeah. I have something against that. No, I'm not a fan of that. How do you feel about the trans athletes thing? That's another big issue going on right now. Man, I, I like, it is it's like I actually feel that like the woke agenda is actually being more harmful to the trans community than than helpful. Yeah. What makes you think that? Well, because I think that <clears throat> look, man, here here's the thing. Like, like trans people are, are are human beings, they deserve love and dignity just like everybody. Yeah. Right? So but then you have this woke like extreme sect that's like going so like over the top, right? That they're causing animosity towards trans people now because now regular the regular public yeah. is associating trans people with like the extreme liberal woke, you know, yeah. sector, right? Where it's like it's causing more harm than it is helping, I believe. Right? No, and yeah. Yeah, not all trans people are like super liberal or woke probably either. Well, I mean, it's yeah, and I just think that, like, most trans people aren't trying to live their life in, in, in that extreme, right? Like, of, of like, the, the way that the that the woke left is pushing everything. It's like, yeah, they just want to live their life and, and be treated with dignity and, you know, and what's so hard about that, right? But then mm-hmm. when you have all these, the woke people going so extreme with, no, like, of what you have to believe and what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That I think it's making... um that it's causing more animosity mm-hmm. um, than there needs to be, right? Yeah. Where there isn't any. I think it's causing animosity when there where there where there shouldn't be. Yeah, right. Because they're forcing, they're trying to force the beliefs on people. You think it's kind of well, yeah, man. There's it just everything is just so over the top. Like, yeah, it's just it's, just, it's bizarre yeah. for sure. <clears throat> Trump's funny though. <laughs> Trump, <laughs> he does make yeah, you laugh funny. all he the time. Funny. Trump's a funny boy. He I mean. Funny. I mean, the mini mic thing, dude. Yeah. We Politics do. aside, like, yeah. no matter where you stand, you got it. Trump is hilarious. He is funny, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's have, no doubt. Have you seen, have have you seen, seen him do the one? mini mic thing? <laughs> no. This is from a while ago. This is from, yeah. He's talking about Mike Bloomberg. Debates. You old, remember uh, Mike Blo- Mike, little Mike Bloomberg? Who's that? He's the know. old mayor of know. New York City. Okay. He's very short, and he was running against Trump in the last okay. election. Okay. Yeah. That's all you need to know. He was really mean to mini Mike. I'll tell you, the way she treated him. He didn't know what hit him. He's going, oh, get me off of this stage. Get me off. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, look at him milk it, dude. It's so funny. (laughs) He's like. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Like, oh shit! <laughs> he's funny as fuck. Dude. He's great. Your Trump is good. Your Trump's better. I thank you. you guys yeah, got your, your guys Trump is good too. Thanks, I appreciate, dude. bro. Dude, you're, yeah, you're did you work really on nice. the Trump for a while, or did it just come naturally? It just chose me one day. Like, can I say? <laughs> I don't know. It's like there's some impressions I just can't. I can't. I'm not like I can't say I'm good at impressions because there's some people I just can't can't do. At do. All. Yeah. Like, but if I can do them, it's it's it's, it's there. just there. It's there. Dude, what a, yeah, what it's other, there. The, yeah, the Joker, dude. I, you're yeah, you have a good Joker. Oh, yeah, the Joker just, kills yeah, me, dude. There. Yeah. What's your Joker impression? I did it on the Z Way interview. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I, she asked I'm, me if I if like what's my plan. I was, do I look like a guy with a plan? <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people ask, what's your plan like for the next five years? I hate when people ask me that. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're not a guy with a plan. You're not a big planner. Well, it's like, it, look, what do you ask? Are you asking me to tell you like my hopes and dreams? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> that's, 
That's like a personal question. <laughs> I would like. That's like, so funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Tell me your to your hopes and dreams. It's like, <laughs> that's you know, a little if, intimate. If you don't feel that, like, if you don't know a person yeah. or like trust them, then like, why I don't would you know tell you. Them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. would you? You know what I mean? Why would you share that with them? And then you, you just tell them. You know? I just like to say I don't have a plan. You yeah. Know? So I can just keep on keep on living, baby. You yeah. also don't need like a. You don't need a plan for the next five or ten years of your life necessarily. So if no. someone's like, "What's your five year plan?" You're like, "Dude, chill out. Who has I'm trying to figure out the next couple months? Yeah, what are we sitting doing? Sitting around like going, going, "I'm gonna defense budget." Like, what <laughs> <are we doing? laughs> yeah, right. I gotta figure yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. I live. I live day by day, dude. Like, yeah, you know of course. I just try, just try to. Just my plan is just to be, to exist. Yeah, that's beautiful. You know try to live saying? in the moment. Yeah, everyone's trying to have five, ten year plans. It's like. Yeah. Why can't we just hang out? Yeah, let's just hang. Yeah. I've been trying to live in the moment too more. I'm on my phone too much. It's yeah. a problem. Everyone is. It's yeah, annoying. Dude. It's so hard. Mm-hmm. Everyone is. It's so like, it's that little dopamine flick, 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 just it hits the little pleasure button over and over and over again. And stuff like TikTok, you just get like more of what you want. Like I like to ski and I like South Park. So my whole TikTok is skiing videos and clips of South Park. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I could watch this shit all day. Yeah, I, can, fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it YouTube. every time. Yeah. yeah. I, I watch a lot of random shit on YouTube. Yeah, me too. Do you got any favorite YouTube- YouTubers? No, I don't have any favorite YouTube. I don't watch like YouTubers. I yeah. just watch like ran- random, random shit. Yeah, like fucking, a lot, a lot, I like a lot of history. Nice, yeah. like random his- historical shit. Nice, dude. We're just like, yeah. I don't watch like, hey guys, what's up? We're just waking up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, today we're gonna spend fifty thousand dollars on a water slide. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and the thumbnails like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, That's awesome, I don't watch that shit. <laughs> We're filling my mom's pool with M and M's. Whoa! No, the edits are so fast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like schizophrenically edited. Yeah, they're like, how many M and M's can I throw at my dog? We yeah. have four hundred thousand water balloons, and we're gonna drop them all on our neighbor. Whoa! <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, and it always has like a cast too, and yeah. you're like, I missed the whole cast. Yeah, it'll be like Grinky, and then yeah. it cuts over to like I yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's always be doing like, that. S- Smitty's not gonna have a good time, and it sounds like some distiller is like, <laughs> <laughs> Smitty. <laughs> <laughs> he's just waking up like, oh, he's fuck. like Smitty, yeah. wake up! He's covered in M and M's and water balloons and shit. Yeah. Dude, uh, dude yeah. it's so funny, dude. Yeah. Also, uh, also, like the some of the YouTubers like it's a lot of prank stuff, and it's yeah. like, well, you, I'm like, you're just going into a grocery store and assaulting people. Yeah. Like they'll be like, they'll be like, look at this, look at this Target prank, yeah. and yeah. they're like. Dumping stuff from the shelves, like yeah. giant stuffed animals yeah, on people's dude. heads. I'm like, you're kind of just throwing Being shit in. at strangers. Yeah, how much of that shit is fake, though? I bet a lot. I hope so. Too. Just some of the stuff you see, like, I gotta hope this is fake. Because they're like, we're throwing be. milk at old ladies today. Yeah. And you're like, what the hell? You gotta man? believe the big ones are probably fake, but then these young kids who are trying to copy them probably uh, go out yeah, and they, for real throw yeah, milk yeah, at old dude. ladies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like, these guys are yeah. doing it. There's this one dude, there's this one dude in LA, I don't know, I can't remember his name, but he like just goes. So there's like a video of him like going up to people in the hood, just like mean mugging them, <laughs> walking up to him like, "What's up?" What's up? And he like throws fake gang sign. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's like dangerous. Why would you, you know? do that? He almost gets attacked. Like, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's that's. It's kind so of I saw thing. one like that where it was a zombie. The guy, it was a guy dressed up, pretended he was a zombie, and it was like zombie in the hood prank. And he would just like run up on people playing basketball. And there was a dude who legit pulled a gun out. Yeah, you're going to get killed doing that. I'm like, don't go up as a zombie next to a guy with a gun. Yeah. What are you, an idiot? It's <laughs> <No, that's> the <laughs> dumbest thing in the world. Yeah. How do you, that's a real zombie. He just shoots you right in the face. <laughs> I, I would go, if I was that judge, I'd go, you thought he was a zombie, dude. Fucking yeah. case closed. <laughs> the judge would be like, yeah, I mean, I would totally like a zombie for sure. Yeah. Dude, if, some, if I really thought it was a zombie and I had a gun, what do you think I'm doing? Yeah. You're shooting the zombie. I'm shooting the zombie and I'm not feeling bad about you're it. Going full well, I probably would feel on. bad about it, but... <laughs> I probably feel so bad. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, no, if a zombie rough. walked, if a zombie ran up on me, I would definitely. You'd have to react. You'd have because yeah, you wouldn't want to touch him. You know. Yeah, because no. then you don't. Even, I don't know how that shit spreads. Yeah, yeah. What if it's just like all you need is like there a little bit of their blood on you and you're totally. Yeah, you exactly. got to keep your distance. You you know, know. Six feet. Yeah. yeah, social distance. Put on your mask. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was that? Was the pandemic with zombies? <laughs> Wear your mask with the zombies. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's fucking rough. Yeah, dude. 
yeah, those prank stuffs are they're hard to watch. The prank uh, couples too. Yeah, the couple the prank, prank couples, man. I'm like, I hope you guys are making a lot of money and actually really in love because this is brutal. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm punching my boyfriend in the face. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Jesus, dude. How do you feel about the TikTokers like the doing the dances? I don't, I don't, I don't watch TikTok. I don't you don't even, watch I don't, TikTok? I don't even have the app downloaded on my phone. Really That's a good move, dude. <clears throat> I, I don't know how to use it. <clears throat> I don't know how to use it. Yeah. No, you just have no idea. Yeah, I don't even. I don't understand how to how to work it. At yeah. All. I mean, people are making intricate ass video, all the edits and cuts and like fucking oh, sound yeah. effects. I'm like, what the fuck? If I, if I if I tried to do that shit, I would you know lose my temper after like fucking two minutes and just give up. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck TikTok. Yeah. Fuck that. <clears throat> fuck that. Dude, I get that, dude. I mean, For some sure. of the editing things on there are like so intricate, dude. Yeah, they're crazy. They're nice yeah, with it. You don't like TikTok? No. I mean, a lot of it's like they edit it so it looks like their head comes yeah. off and then they dance and then their legs are, you know. Yeah. I mean? Yeah. I yeah. Know. You do YouTube stuff, though, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. Do you like fitness stuff? I just stuff? started a YouTube channel. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm not, I'm not in a, a podcast I'm about to put out. There oh, we that's go. That's great, dude. Yeah. It's just Chet Hanks show, right? Oh, yep. Nice, dude. That's great. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking sick, dude. Do yeah. you do like fitness stuff on YouTube? Yeah, fitness <laughs> stuff, just lifestyle stuff in general. Yeah, like vlogging me, me stuff. And my friends, my boy Josh, he's like my co host on the show. Dude, yeah, we, yeah, we do like fitness stuff, lifestyle stuff, ride motorcycles, fucking different, yeah. you know, shit like that. We just went to the, uh, we had a trip to Indianapolis, went to the Indy 500, and oh, we shit. went my, my 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 buddy Josh from Illinois, so we went to Illinois. After that, we were just doing like everything that you could do out there. He, he lives like out in the countryside, <clears throat> so we were just doing a bunch of hillbilly shit. It was fun. Yeah, you shooting Shoot, guns and yeah, stuff. Yeah, shooting guns, blowing dude, sh- blowing shit up. That's the best. Dude. Going fishing, fucking jumping in rivers and shit like that. It sounds it was like, fun. It's so that's fun. The best, yeah, dude. Yeah. When you're from like the coast, it's so fun to like go to the. Middle I had of the a country great fucking shit. time. Yeah, dude. I really had a great time. I didn't even want to leave. Yeah, no, it's the best. Dude. I went to a thing called Redneck Rave. It was in Kentucky. And they had a big concert, but it was mostly like they were like rappers, but they were almost like country rappers. And it was like there were there were people were standing, but there were also like a circle of pickup trucks, and everybody was like sitting in the backs of their pickup trucks, like using them as seats for the concert. And then after yeah. the concert, they like took a break, like an intermission, and they all went mudding in four wheelers. Like they yeah, were driving awesome. four wheelers through like three feet of mud, and then they came back to the concert like head covered in mud, mud, just like twice as drunk as they were. <laughs> earlier. I was like, this is the most fun I've ever seen anyone have. This no, is great. It's, yeah, yeah, it's dude. good shit. There's something to that, dude. I'm going down to Florida soon. Where are you yeah. trying to travel? I don't have any. Uh, wh- wherever I go. Yeah. <clears throat> wherever my two feet take me. <laughs> yeah. Nice, dude. For sure. Yeah, I love traveling, though. I've traveled a lot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I like, yeah. I don't really just be traveling just to, like, go on vacation and shit. I, I travel if I if I got work somewhere. I got right. Something, something to do out there. But, yeah, man. I like to travel as much as possible. Nice, That's great. Yeah. Did you travel a lot growing up? Yeah. 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 All over. Yeah. All that's over. great. Yeah. Do you have any favorite places? Yeah, man. I mean, Greece. I've been going to Greece my whole life. Yeah. Like I said, my mom's Greek, so mm. we go there almost every summer. It's a magical place. I can't imagine yeah. how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful it is. Place, like yeah. Mykonos and stuff like that. Yeah. Mykonos is, 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 is fun. Yeah. yeah. Greece in general, man, it's just beautiful. You just go to those, like, any of those islands you go like to. Like Crete? It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Crete is like a, a lot uh, south. It's, yeah. It's kind it's of far. Down. It's kind of far. All the little islands up top, like you could just hop around, go from island to island and shit. Crete, Crete is like a ways, way down, south. Down, yeah, way south. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Greece is a great place, dude. Yeah, island in the Mediterranean. That sounds like as beautiful as Earth gets, pretty much. Yeah, and it's all fun. Like you don't just have to go to Myk- Mykonos. Is like the big party island. That oh, really? To, yeah. You go to any island, you're gonna have a great time. Yeah, yeah for great sure. Great fucking time. That's like the touristy spot, Mykonos. Mykonos is very is very touristy. Okay, it's like, okay. It's like uh, and it's super fucking expensive. Okay, it's like, that's where like all the billionaires and shit. Yeah. Go oh, and okay. So if you want to go to Mykonos, like in the middle of the summer, like it's it's gonna be packed. Ugh. It's gonna be like almost impossible to like you know get a room anywhere, rental yeah. car. It's, it, you know what I'm saying? But if you go to any any of the other islands, they fucking crack off. It's super lit, and uh, yeah. you have a great ass time. Yeah, are you sober now? Yeah, damn. Yeah. How long have you been sober for? Almost two years. <clears throat> oh, that's great, man. Thank you. Yeah, congrats, you like sir. it? Like life's better now that you're sober. Life's a lot better. It's a lot better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, yeah. Were you yeah. like a were you a big party before you got sober? Or yeah. Was it, yeah, yeah, big time. I yeah. Feel you. So you don't drink or anything, like nothing. No weed. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Just yeah. a little vape, that's it. That's it. Coffee. Yeah, true. 
Yeah. If I could stick to coffee and nicotine, I think I could stick it out. Yeah. <coughs> if I had to give those up, I'd probably be fucking. Mm. Nicotine's hard. Yeah, that's the worst yeah. one, dude. I mean, you were telling me once you you think once nicotine's got you, it's got you. Yeah, I think it's just like once you start, it's like, and now there's so many different ways you can do it. There's like every like you know. There's the vaping and the Zins and the fucking cigs. Like, you know, there's like nine different ways. There's a patch. There's gum. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like any way you can. It's like, I don't know. I heard it makes your testosterone higher. Really? Yeah, I heard that. Hmm. So I'm, I'm running I with that. that. I'll run with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why that. I do it, dude. I'll run with that. Huberman yeah. says that. You know, he, you know Dr. Huberman? You know, what Andy? did you say? He just smashed through the bucket. As soon as you hit it. <laughs> what? <laughs> just break through the table, dude. <laughs> yeah. No, I swear I heard that somewhere that, like, testosterone. I'm not crazy, right? Like, nicotine, it's testosterone. I've heard some of the somewhere. gurus say yeah, that. Dude. Some of the gurus. Dude, I fucking. And then there's another guru that says it does it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Who the fuck knows? I just want to rip cigs in the gym, dude. dude. You want to do live, live your life. You I'm know, just gonna be huffed. Everyone's got to, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like with fitness or what everything. It's like one person says, "Oh, you're supposed to do it this way." Another person yeah. says, "Oh, you're supposed to do it that way." Yeah. Who gives a fuck? You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're not a fan of the gurus, no, dude. I mean, it's like it, it's just there's it's just, there's so many gurus. It's like one person says one thing, the other person yeah. says the opposite. Well, just do what you feel. Feel your feel your body and. and do what you feel you get results from. Yeah, yeah. with Intuition. your body. You know. Yeah. How do you feel about the whole raw meat trend? I think it was the stupidest shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a th- people are eating raw meat? Yeah, raw meat. They're eating like bull testicles. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With like Liver King like, and shit. It's like, all right, I'm not. If if you saw like if you watched Liver King and was like, I'm gonna start eating raw liver. <laughs> I'm gonna start eating bull testicles. It's like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, no, I couldn't agree more. Like, dude. Yeah, no, you're you on the liver. You're on the liver. It's like, no, dude, I'm not. Yeah, cook a steak, fool. <laughs> Can you imagine one of your boys being what like, dude, you're not eating idiots. testicles. You're fucking idiots. Dude. I've been swimming down who balls. Thought that and... He wasn't on steroids. Is a f- like, dude. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He, he was like, it's like he, I'm he, not upset that he was on steroids. It's like mm-hmm. it's fine. I don't see why he had to lie about it, but I don't give a fuck that he lied about it either. You right. know? But yeah. if you didn't know, I mean, I he looks like he's I, about to explode. I'm just like, he yeah. could have yeah. easily just, he could have, he could have easily, you know, flipped that into like his ancestral. He could have been like, well, if our ancestors had uh, performance enhancing drugs, and then they, then they would have utilized that resource as a way to, you know, <laughs> feed the clan. Like, <laughs> like, he could have easily just like flipped it and like, and like owned it. You yeah, know, for like, sure. As a hunter gatherer, we would we would use all the resources available. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yes, I take performance enhancing drugs. Yeah. Like he could have easily just flipped that to like yeah. you know like but and like owned it, but that yeah. was just so yeah. that was so dumb how he just denied it. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's so stupid. Like, right? Yeah, that's tough, dude. <laughs> it's so stupid. Dude. You're right. He could have owned. He could. Why not? Like, no one gives a fuck, dude. Just own that shit and keep doing your shtick, dude. Yeah. But the fact was like never touch the stuff. No one. Touch the stuff like <laughs> <laughs> you're like juice to the gills. Bro. Yeah, I look at him. Fucking, he's fucking because like, now he looks stupid. Yeah, yeah. Now it's like now, oh, he looks he like look, a, now he's a joke. Now he looks like a joke. Whereas yeah. if he had just owned it from the beginning, no one would have given a fuck. No, yeah. no one would have given a fuck, dude. Yeah. I eat liver. I take testosterone and HGH. Like yeah. It's part of my uh, the nine san- nine ancestral tenets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, but now he just like if he had just owned it from the beginning, it would have been fine. Yeah, for sure, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, "Good morning, primal." <laughs> <laughs> Day ninety. Off. No, <laughs> it's like, now you're trying to recreate yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, that shit is Good brutal. morning, primal. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. He made it. I mean, who give it? But he made so much money doing that shit. He probably doesn't give a. Fuck. No, he made millions. He bought a jet, dude. This guy Probably. bought a jet. He got his he, he got his yeah. bag and he got his bag and got, got out. Got out. Right? Yeah, bro. Where did he <laughs> come from? Look, there you go. He used to be a, he used to just own a supplements thing. And then he started a PR campaign for all, all his supplements and he did this character and it got like really big. So he was doing the supplements before he was doing Yeah, that? he was like in some some kind of business with with like vitamins or something like that, you know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. And then, uh, yeah, he's one of those weird, like, <laughs> characters. It says Johnson works supporting feel- his wife's dental practice. Jesus. That's wild, though. 
He's at he's a he's a he's a secretary at the dentist office. <laughs> Good morning, primal. <laughs> Here for your root canal. <laughs> Have you been flossing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, that's like that's fucking brutal. Dude. Yeah. How do you how do you feel about these like internet characters like this? Because like you're big on the internet, but you like you said you're just kind of being yourself. Yeah, you're not doing. You're how not, do you feel about like the Liver Kings and the Andrew Tates? Like, I feel like the crazier you are, the more like you people talk attract, about you. Yeah. Well, I mean, like like. Liver King is like a caricature. Yeah, you know? he's like a cartoon. And Andrew Tate's like a, a really smart dude, you know? So I don't think you can really compare them, you know? Yeah. You think they're different? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you think definitely. like Andrew Tate like kind of believes what he's doing? Whereas like <coughs> Liver King's like I mean, doing I a think character. With, I think, I mean, Liver King is like a caricature. And yeah. And Andrew Tate is like an extremely intelligent person. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, he can't, you know, it's like they're both internet famous, but I don't think you can put them in the same category. <laughs> Do you like fair. what Tate says just about like, business and motivation stuff <clears throat> i fuck with tate dude yeah yeah i fuck with tate yeah i mean you know it's like it, it, it's all the the whole thing against him is like you know they're taking clip it's like little clips where he's saying like some you know controversial shit but <clears throat> so it's like yeah like I don't, I don't agree with everything that he's ever said, but like I respect him, and I respect like his, his overall message, which is you know self improvement, and and I, and I and I think it's bullshit. I think the you know what the, what they're saying about him and all that shit is is bullshit. He's pissing a lot of people off, that's for sure. I mean, in terms of just like the establishment, and, you know, he he he's 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 pissing a lot of people off. So I think that's that's the reason why you know why what's happening is happening. You think it's kind of like a targeted attack on him? Like oh, I definitely time. think it's targeted. I definitely think it's targeted. <clears throat> you know, I mean, for the reasons that he explains. I mean, it, it's everything. It, you know, he, it makes sense. You know, he. It's true, man. I mean, it's like <clears throat> COVID really opened my eyes to. Uh, to you know, it's like what they're, what they're trying to do, which is just make us all weak and broke, and scared. And dependent on the on the government and the establishment, you know, it's like California. They shut down all the the businesses. You know, they didn't have to. They didn't have to shut down those businesses. They had fucking people. You know, like I'm talking like barber shop. You know, small businesses shut up. They fucking got decimated. Decimated. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're getting taxed more. You know, we have the highest taxes out of anywhere. But you look around the street and it's it, everything is just decaying, falling apart. There's homeless people, people doing you know heroin, meth on the street, out of their fucking minds, everywhere. You know, we're get, so it's like we're getting taxed all this money. You walk out of your fucking house as a dude taking a shit with fucking needles everywhere. It's like <laughs> yeah, it, all the businesses, people that are actually working work hard and t- to make money and earn a living, they're all fucking going out of business because you got this fucking idiot Gavin Newsom fucking, you know making all these mandates and shutting shit down and, and telling people to wear masks. Meanwhile, he's at the fucking Rams game, fucking with his mask off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, meanwhile, people are going broke. Yeah. yeah. The, the people that actually work hard are going broke. You got the homeless people because of all these progressive laws out of their fucking minds, violent people, people that'll go and commit a violent crime, will fucking put a gun in someone's face, put a knife to someone's throat, you know, someone fucking while they're on meth after you know what i'm saying living in their fucking tent they'll they'll go do all that because of all these progressive laws they'll get thrown in jail for you know a couple hours slap on the wrist let right back out yeah so they get all the advantages meanwhile people hard-working people want to go fucking earn a living their businesses are all shut down they're all they're all going broke i think i think and meanwhile while the fear is being pumped while we're being forced to fucking take vaccines i mean i think it, it's it's you can't at this point, <clears throat> you can't say that it's not deliberate. I think it's all very deliberate. I think it's all very, very deliberate. It's intentional. It's intentional, and they, they, they want you to be broke so that you don't have any freedom. They want you to be brainwashed, getting all, doing exactly as they tell you to do, living in fear, and just, just, just signing on to their their view of 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 truth and you think that's mm-hmm. so the they want everybody doing that and every so and, and think about it they want everybody signing on to their version of truth okay 
Now you got and the people that are influential, famous people, celebrities, athletes, actors, uh, musicians, whatever, politicians. They all are. They want to keep making a buck, okay? Because in Hollywood, you can't say that shit. You can't say I'm not taking. I'm going to take it. You can't speak out against any of it. So if you have you have all these people in Hollywood or any famous person, they're making shit tons of money. They don't want to fuck that up. They might disagree with it completely. They might think it's all bullshit. But if they speak up, they know they're going to can take a hit to their pockets. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're they're just even if they disagree with it, they're still you know playing the game. And I don't knock them for it. You know what I'm saying? When you're making all that money, you don't want to fuck that up. Yeah. Right. But then so everybody is is tiptoeing around, walking on eggshells. Everybody. Yeah. But then you got a guy like Andrew Tate, who's already filthy rich. He can say whatever the fuck he wants. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. There's not many people that 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 can do that. There's yeah. not many people that can do that. He can, and he does, as he fucking should, right? So, and he's, extre- and he's, he's uh, in terms of influence, he's a fucking whale. You know what I mean? He's probably more influential than, than you know, uh, uh, several of those fucking big Hollywood people combined. You know what I'm saying? Independently, mm-hmm. completely on his own. Did it completely on his own. <laughs> he's saying whatever the fuck he wants. They can't have that. They're like, oh, no, we can't have that. Yeah. Fuck no. We cannot yeah. have that because people are fucking paying attention to what he's saying. And it's like <laughs> they're flabbergasted by the, that. It's like somebody, how can somebody have the audacity to stand up and, 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 and disagree? All right. So it's like, well, what are we going to do about that? Well, there's things that they can do about it. And it seems like they're doing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. First, they fucking banned him on everything. You know, it's mm-hmm. like. He couldn't do. He couldn't even fucking order Uber. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they banned his like they banned, they banned from Uber. I think they banned his like Stripe from his phone too. Like so, he couldn't use his credit card for certain things. Wow. So they did that. I mean, it's like it's clear. It's like and then that didn't work. And it's like how many other people out there are 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 are, are just freely fucking? Well, well, how many people with that much influence? are there that don't give a fuck about the money about yeah. taking a loss to the money because they're mm-hmm. making money independent of the fucking system. Right. They don't yeah. have to worry about uh, taking a loss to their, to their pockets. They don't have to worry about, you know, not getting a movie. They don't have to worry about uh, losing their record deal. They don't have to fucking worry about that. He could say what he could say, whatever the fuck he wants. And he mm-hmm. does. How many other people are like that with that much influence? Not many. I yeah. Mean, you know, it's a I feel like him many. and like Alex Jones is kind of like that. I don't know if you like Alex Jones, but I feel like he's kind of like, yeah. Says what he wants, goes against the grain. He's been deplatformed. He's I mean, had his he credit got, card shut off. He I mean, got he also charged got a billion dollars. <clears throat> that too, yeah. <laughs> that was wild. You, I like, mean, yeah. you like Alex Jones? Well, I mean, I feel like Alex Jones is kind of like a sensationalist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he'll just fucking... Um, that, that's like how he makes money is, is by like being like over the top. Being provocative. Being, you know, like... And just, you know... I, look, I, I, I think like the, there's a lot of truth to a lot of conspiracy theories, but I don't think every fucking conspiracy theory is truth. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. every single one that <laughs> idea that pops up, oh, yeah, that, that too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come on, sense. man. It's like, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So they're making like, the frogs gay. <laughs> and it's like, it, it, so I, like, I think Alex Jones is also in, in a different category, you know, like, because he he's a sensationalist. Yeah. You know, he's in media too. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of, and then there's, there's, um, of course, there's like Republican celebrities, a few of them, like actors or whatever that, that, um, will like speak out, but they're not really big enough in the first place. They're kind of like, you know, they're like famous, but they're not like famous, famous. Or, yeah. They're like, or, you know, I mean, they're, <laughs> they're not like the fucking, the, the, the hottest topic. Yeah. yeah you don't see too so many a, like A-listers speak yeah, out right? yeah, exactly. or be a conservative. Right, right, yeah, exactly. You don't see many A listers. Were you out. were you raised kind of liberal? My house, my parents were like super liberal, but I feel like I'm a little less liberal now, like significantly. I mean, less. my family is definitely all Democrats, but mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, see, this is my problem, right? Like, is that like not all Democrats are woke? Yeah, like the woke people are like the extreme, extreme, extreme of the liberal Democrats or Democratic Party, right? Mm-hmm. But not all Democrats are woke like that. And see, my problem with Democrats these days is that um, the ones that don't buy into that shit, 
they're like they're Democrats, but they they're not fucking all woke and shit. Why they won't speak up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'll speak up at private dinner parties and say this is nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, what this is not. You know, what I mean, they, they disagree with it, right? But they're not speaking up publicly, and I think that's a fucking problem. And I think you know, it's like it's a shame, mm-hmm. you know, because now you're making you're making it so your entire the entire Democratic Party just looks ridiculous. Yeah. You'd like to see more like famous people speak up against it if they feel that way. Yeah, I mean they. Yeah, they should. Yeah. But it's like this is the insanity of like the world we live in now. Is uh, it's like <clears throat> if you speak up against any of it, then you're vilified. Yeah, yeah. And that's just fucking ridiculous. I think it's insane. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. You know, and it, I, that's what I'm saying. I think it's doing more damage than it is good. Right? Yeah. Because if like the Democrats actually cared about like their party. The, the you know sustaining their party mm-hmm. they would realize that if they don't speak up against all this woke shit then they're just going to create more republicans yeah so they're, sure. they're actually hurting <clears throat> themselves in the long run you shooting know themselves saying? in the foot yeah 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 tate's, tate's still doing this thing though yeah tate's all right yeah they didn't fully get him <laughs> that way is he okay now i thought he was in prison no he's out oh he's out i didn't even know Doing interviews and stuff. Oh, I, no I think idea. he'll be all right. I think yeah. he'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, man. I fuck with Tate. I fuck with Tate. Like I said, all those clips, like the the, the, the ammo that they try to, you know, throw against him. It's like <clears throat> those like clips where like, you know, it's he, he's talking about like something controversial. It's like, can any, can, can any, can no one like take a joke? Like, He's not always being like serious. You no, know what I'm like sometimes, mm-hmm. like it, he's, he's he's making a joke. I mean, he's just fucking. He's riffing. The, the, the dude is just riffing, like <laughs> like, like, like like you would do yeah, on like a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just fucking riffing. We're fucking around. We're riffing. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, yeah. Like, can, like can no one take a fucking joke? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's not like, meant to be like taking his gospel. Have you seen the well, the clip of him talking about sparkling water? Yeah. <laughs> What's he say about sparkling <laughs> water? The Tate sparkling water clip. I haven't seen this. It should be on TikTok. Oh, that's sparkling water. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I drink is sparkling water because sparkling water is for rich people. <laughs> <laughs> non carbonated water, still water from the fucking tap. <laughs> the government gives you that shit effectively for free. Sparkling water you have to buy. So if you only drink sparkling water, you only drink rich man's water. I explain this to someone, some. Bumba club. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't like sparkling. You don't like sparkling water? You don't like water? Yeah, but the bubbles. <laughs> the bubbles? You scared of bubbles, you little bitch? <laughs> it has bubbles in it. Are you Jesus. afraid of bubbles? The fuck is wrong with you? This is another full grown man. <laughs> fucking some other bitch. I told you about how the fucking I'm sitting. I can't go through my life without getting angry. I, I've, I've got to meet people, business associates, etc. I go there. One dude orders sushi. Some other dude scared of bubbles. <laughs> like, if, if a waiter comes over and goes, what water for the table? Sparkling, please. I obviously answer because I'm the fucking boss. <laughs> and some <laughs> fucking bitch. Oh, um, uh, can I have a still? Fuck, drink the water on the table. You're a fucking man. You start cha- making the waiter run back and forth and change That's water so orders because so you can't handle bubbles. That's true. Pussy ass dudes. You should Whoa. only drink sparkling water anyways because it's what aristocrats like myself drink. <laughs> Lord, of all the beasts of the land and fishes of the sea. Yeah. We drink sparkling water. <laughs> you should want to be like me because I'm a better person than you. So in every single possible tiny way you can emulate the great Andrew Tate, you should be doing the same thing. Jesus. Don't order sushi, drink sparkling water. Right. But even Wild. if you're such a bitch, you won't choose sparkling water. When it's water. Pause, you can pause. Skip. Water. <laughs> He's funny. He's a funny dude. dude He's yeah, hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Frail bubbles. <laughs> He's funny, dude. Yeah, I mean that that's is pretty a, that, funny. But that's why they're worried about him because he doesn't have to tip to or walk on any eggshells because no. because he's, he's independently wealthy. Yeah, right. Everybody else is worried about something. They're worried about losing a, a movie, a fucking a, right. rec- a record deal. Get, you know what I'm saying? A contract. Like everybody is dependent on the system in order to make a living and, and, and fucking accumulate wealth. This dude found a way to fucking do it completely independently. So, mm-hmm. and, and he's ridiculously rich. So it's like, that's why they're worried about him. Right? Yeah. Cause he doesn't have to play by their games at all. Mm. 
Did you see, like, did you get any weird Hollywood vibes or see any weird Hollywood stuff just growing up with your dad being, like, the one of the biggest actors ever? Mm, yeah, no. No, I never did. My parents are, like, super, con- like, well, I mean, they're Democrats, but, like, they're conservative. You know what I'm saying? They're old school. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're very, you know. They're kind of. They, they stay out the mix. You know what I mean? They, yeah, they don't sure. want to be in the mix. They would rather be very just, you know, chilling at home with their family. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. they, uh. They, they don't like doing all the Hollywood shit. Like to, to them, like like you know, like to my dad, like having to just go to like a dinner party or you know what I mean. Like it, it's like at work. It's like ugh, I gotta go fucking schmooze with people, and mm-hmm. like he doesn't enjoy it. You know, it's like <clears throat> unless of course they're with like their close friends. You know what I'm saying? But just all like the Hollywood like political shit. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, uh, that's like work to them. So it's like no, I, I wasn't uh, I wasn't really exposed to any weird shit in Hollywood. Growing up, that's good. So your dad kind of kept his head on straight, even though he was yeah, like very. a huge actor. Yeah, very, very, very low key, just off the radar, just chilling. Nice. That's got to be tough, like to not just be at all their parties saying what they want you to say or like acting the way you're supposed to act. Kind of being in that like social circle, especially when there's like millions of dollars at stake. Yeah, I would imagine it. It might be. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And we got we got a couple more clips. I think we got. Yeah, we got. Yeah, we'll play that one last. Play Doctor. Do you know Doctor Umar? Mm-hmm. You ever see Doctor Umar? Mm-mm. He's pretty great. I think you'll like him. He's pretty funny. Sit your fine, buttery, cinnamon ass next to me with that one piece bathing suit on, looking all curvy and thick and five five. Don't you distract me, sister. Did Satan send you to carousel to distract me from my God-given responsibilities? I said I rebuke you. Put your clothes on and leave this beach. I made her leave. <laughs> have you ever had to rebuke anyone? <laughs> you probably should have. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, a few ladies, ladies you maybe should have rebuked. Should have rebuked a couple ladies. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, five, five, we'll do five, one more. Cinnamon butter. Have, yes. you, have you seen this guy? Uh-uh. All right, play from the top. How many children do you have? Twenty-three. <laughs> Twenty-two will be every mother. Real bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Real bad man. <laughs> oh, man. Well, look, we get, we'll get you out of here. I don't know if you got to go or if you... Whatever y'all want. You hang longer. You got to go. I don't we know. wrap it up? Yeah, I mean, we can wrap it up. I don't we know. Wrap it up? Know. Yeah. You got anything you want to promote or anything like that? No. No? Oh, Nothing. yeah. Well, I'm about to drop a... Uh, I'm about to release my podcast. <clears throat> the first episode is me and my pops. Mm-hmm. So that'll be that'll be that's it, it, it'll be a good time. Um, that's dope. And uh, I'm also releasing a for anybody who's ever uh, wondered what it takes to like become an actor, become a working actor, get into Hollywood. Um, people that you know just don't know where to start, don't know where to get, you know how to get their foot in the door. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm releasing a an online course called Actors Advantage, um, where uh, you'll basically I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to start working as a as an actor how yeah. to start you know how to actually begin to uh make a living from that and also uh like the fundamentals of acting so it's like for people who already maybe have some acting experience or if they have absolutely none mm-hmm. um it's uh it's uh that's i'm gonna be releasing that at the same time as the podcast so keep an eye out for that awesome dude. beautiful well yeah if thanks you guys so much, Chet. Thank you for coming, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. Appreciate you coming. Yeah. This Hilarious. was fun, awesome. dude. I appreciate you guys. Boys, uh, like, subscribe, the whole thing. Share it with your friends. Anybody new, thank you for joining us. We'll, uh, we'll see you next week. Chet Hanks, everybody. Chet Real Hanks. Real bad man. <laughs> <laughs>